Welcome back to another overview and today I have a new single board computer from Friendly Elac. It's called a NanoPi Neo Plus 2. So it's very small. Uh, again, it's a single board computer. It doesn't have an HDMI on board, but you can use it as a NAS uh, server, mini server, and other uh, applications. For example, a mini firewall. So this one has two editions. One is the one gigabyte RAM edition, and the second uh, is the 520 megabytes of RAM edition. The one gigabyte RAM costs about $42, and the low level costs about $32. So that's for the two versions of this board. It's powered with the all winner chip, and I'm going to show you in a second what includes is included in the box. So first of all, this is the default package. You have a nice user manual explaining about how to use the board, basic operations, how to burn the images. So it's very nice. Also the specs are listed here. So that's for the user guide in English. Second item is very simple Wi-Fi antenna. I recommend buying something more serious than that. So it's kind of a temporary solution. And also you can buy the case which includes a, a much better Wi-Fi antenna. I'm going to show you the case in a few minutes. So that's for the antenna wire. So this is the board. I'll do a quick zoom in so you can see. So that's basically a comparison to a matchback uh, box in terms of size. So it's very small. The board is very small compared to the matchback box. And let's jump to the specs here. So first of all, what's included? You have Wi-Fi and also Bluetooth. Also, you have 8 GB of eMMC storage, a micro SD card here, and also a micro USB port for powering the unit. You have two USB version 2 interfaces, an Ethernet GB uh, uh, interface also. Again, this is the 1 GB RAM. And here in the back, you can see the chip, main chip is H5 from all winner. So you have also the memory chip here, one gigabyte. And I think that's the EMMC chip also. So you have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi on board and the Ethernet. And it's pretty nice. And again, very, very small board. So what else you can buy with this nice board? I received the case for this board. It's completely made from metal, as you can see here. Very, very high quality. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to show you all the accessories included with this nice case. So the price for the case, the case is about eight or nine dollars. I think it's worth it, and it also includes few nice addition, you no know, accessories. So what's included? First of all, you have a very nice and compact Wi-Fi antenna, not the other one, the default one, which is included with uh, the board. So you have. Wi-Fi antenna and the wire of course so this board has a socket for the antenna you have a thermal pad for the heat sink heat sink is also included which is pretty nice from aluminium I guess it's it sits like this on the board and covers and pretty much with the thermal sticker thermal pad on the CPU and it slides inside the case. So very, very nice idea. Again, the case is very high quality. It's all made from a, a profile. 
and uh, two covers on the side. I guess that's cut it in a water cutting uh, manufacturing process. So again, very high quality. You have a, here you can see where the the slide for the heat sink and the PCB of course. So very recommended item included with the Wi-Fi antenna and the heat sink which looks pretty good. I think it's a must buy uh, item. So that's for the presentation of this board. I hope you enjoy it. In the second part of this video I'll try to show you exactly how it works and a quick demo. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Welcome back to the second part of this uh, overview slash look. Uh, right now you can see the case is right open here on this side and the other side is, of course is closed with the profile. So this is the cover for the open side where the LAN and the USB ports are located. So as you can see the heat sink is assembled with the board. Uh, I've connected it with four screws ear, ear and ear to the heat sink and also you can see there's a thermal pad between the heat sink and the chip between the CPU and the H5 and that's it for the cooling and it looks really really good the heat sink of course is, ma is made from uh, aluminium material very high quality very nice so you have good cooling and also I'm going to show you exactly how to close the case so as you can see I've already connected the antenna wire the external antenna wire to the case with the antenna so what you need to do is just slide the heat sink inside the case like this and that's it you just need to close the cover with four screws here and there you have it, the case of course I have the screws here so that's very very easy and simple way to assemble the board inside and on the other side on the back you can see the micro SD card and the power uh, port that's a micro USB port and it looks really really nice so that's for the case how to assemble the heat sink with the board inside the case I hope you enjoyed my quick overview thanks for watching and see you next time hello folks I've decided to do a third part for this uh, video and show you exactly how the device works how the board works how to get access to the board so right now it's turned on and you can see the LED light is turned on I've loaded the operating system uh, files from a micro SD card you can also burn it on the EMMC chip you have an 8 gigabyte EMMC chip so it should load very fast if you're using the EMMC option so as for the power supply unit I'm using a 5 volts 2.5 amps power adapter so it's not included in the default package and uh, as you can see right now the device is connected through a LAN uh, port through an Ethernet port so that's for the connections so it's turned on right now no Wi-Fi only wired connection so how do you discover this uh, board while it's connected to the, your local LAN it's very simple what you need to do is very simple so if you have a router and you have a discovery LAN discovery option as you can see right here you can recognize all the devices connected to the router in this case I have the Dite Pi recognized here I'll try to magnify it more and show you exactly 
So that's the diet pi. Okay? So that's the IP of the device. Now you need to use PuTTY and connect to the device using a secure shell connection. So I'm using the IP port 22. And you can see right now I have uh, I need to enter the root username. As for the password, I already changed it. Changed it. So right now you can see I'm gaining access to the board. I also have an option. This is a Diet Pi distribution. It's based on Debian Linux, so it's very light in terms of uh, system resources. So you can also configure different services and configure everything you need to know exactly. Let's see CPU information. That's the system information right now. 24 degrees Celsius and uh, the CPU is in basically no uh, stress so it's pretty good 24 degrees uh, let's see other stuff here so you can see it works pretty good let's see Also, you have a nice uh, GUI and there you can change different settings of the di uh, distribution and basically configure the network and also load different services. So let's check other options. You can set the audio options, performance, uh, CPU also frequency, can limit it, can limit it and also you have other stuff here more options you can also change time mode display option and also control security options here change password username You can also uh, set different services here during booting. Network configuration. Let's see another option. Here you can set different services and also install different packages. So I can add different, here you go, different services such as uh, Samba client, uh, open secure shell I can configure them and install them it's very easy so that's for the distribution it's very nice very lightweight and there are many options you can also install Ubuntu uh, Linux Ubuntu Core Linux Again, there is no video out option here with this board. So it's very nice. Again, works pretty good. Hope you enjoyed my quick demo and presentation. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.